In this episode, we're going to wire 12 volt power to our 2023 KLR base model. So it didn't come with any way for aux power. So we're going to wire in this uh, 12 volt adapter that goes in the stock location. And we're also going to wire an external 12 volt adapter that we can use to plug in all of our cell phones and cameras while we're riding. All right, all the panels have been removed already to make access easy for all the wiring that we're gonna be doing. If you need to uh, have a video on removing all the panels, we have a link right up here. So since we have the KLR base model, we don't have the uh, plug that goes in here that's on the adventure. We don't have the switch for the aux lights, and we don't have this little section here for the 12 volt power. Um, we're gonna add that here. So the first step to make sure we have aux power is to connect this relay. That'll give you uh, power that comes on anytime the bike is in uh, on position. There you go, just put that relay in there. All right, this is our other KLR. We've already installed this uh, 12 volt plug. The problem is the location is not ideal. As soon as you pull down this cover and then put in your USB adapter, this one especially sticks out quite far. See, there's not a whole lot of room. And then you add in a typical USB, barely even fits, like it's already coming in contact with the handlebars. You can see there's just no clearance, it's gonna get smashed. A better solution would be use something like this, a low profile adapter, see how low that is? A 90 degree USB elbow, and then you can plug the USB right in here. And that gives you plenty of clearance. So we're still going to use this plug, we've already purchased it, but we're not going to use our primary plug. This will be more of a secondary as a backup. So we'll show, go, go through installing that. We'll also go through installing this primary plug that we'll have connected through a line that's actually going to go into a handlebar bag, or you could run it to a tank bag if you want. The handlebar bag here then will allow us to have plenty of room to plug in our adapter, plug in our phones or any electronics or cameras that we're going to be charging while we ride. So for connecting these uh, 12 volt plugs, we're just gonna use the uh, system that's already set up on the KLR. It's already pre-wired. All you have to do is pop this off and then we've got this part from 3D Cycle Parts and then we'll plug that directly in here and that'll made up and then we'll wire this to our 12 volt plugs. And then we'll end up uh, soldering these connectors to our primary 12 volt plug, and then our secondary one here. We'll end up cutting all this off and soldering all these together. All right, we'll end up snipping all these off. Of, of note, if you don't want to do it the way we did, um, you can actually just plug these in straight into the KLR, but we're already using these plugs for our GPS, so that's why we're cutting those off. said we'll end up cutting we'll end up soldering all these cables to here and we're gonna strip these wires Twist them. Now we're going to have a shrink wrap. So we're going to use this shrink wrap to actually cover the 
the solder joint. This will go over the top. And then we'll use a thicker one. Something like probably this to cover the entire thing. So when you use the shrink wrap, make sure you get it really far away, as far as you can, away from where you're soldering. Because it tends to get really hot and you shrink when they get hot. We're gonna use, we're gonna run the shrink wrap all the way down to the base here. And then we're gonna solder this all together. All right, now this is the tricky part. We just gotta make sure we can wrap all these onto the positive. So we'll start with a positive. On these ones, it's clearly the red is positive. On this particular plug though, the positive is black and the green is a ground. So make sure you wire them right. So we'll just end up wrapping all of this as much as we can onto that one section. There you go. Good. We got a good connection. It's a lot of heat when you're hooking that much wires together. Now we'll do the negative. Unfortunately, the shrink wrap I had wasn't uh, thick enough to go over the entire thing, so this will have to work. So there we go. This will all go in the bike. This will connect to the KLR and the stock plug, and this will be the Oh shoot, dude, I just realized I messed up. This thing has to be... Uh, dang it! Okay, I did screw it up, but I think I can fix it. I think if we take this fuse out, this will fit through the collar. If we can get that, if we can get this through here, this collar, then we're fine. Okay, so far so good. Now can we get this thing through? Oh no. Can we, can we, come on. <laughs> oh yeah! Woohoo! Okay, so I screwed up, but I didn't screw up too badly. I thought I was gonna have to take all this wiring apart, so I didn't have to. 
So lesson learned, make sure this color is out and you have access to it so you can run all this thing through there so you can still situate it to the bike or do the soldering next to the bike after you put this in. We're gonna remove this little uh, cover so we can insert the uh, plug. Just this tiny little thing. All it does is attach there and cover that up. So now we've got a hole in there. Let's put all this stuff through here. There we go. Looks like you have to screw it in a little bit. Looks like it doesn't quite fit. You have to roll it in. Huh, interesting. Now we gotta make sure this gets on the back. Fortunately, we lucked out. It will fit on all of this stuff here. Lucky, lucky. tight. And you've noticed that we've actually kept the fuse. It's probably not necessary because it's already fused through the, uh, through the KLR electrical system. But we just put another fuse in there as a backup. And then we just have to plug it in. Here it is. And we'll zip tie that, but first we'll check to make sure it works. All right, we'll check and see our phone. So you should not have any power until you turn the bike on. It's switched. There you go, we're getting power. Works like a champ. Tie these together. Keep them out of the way. And then finally, this will come up through and we'll, we're actually gonna add a uh, Turkana gear handlebar bag. And this will sit inside there. Use to power all of our cameras and our phone while we're riding. So there you go. Wasn't too difficult. We've got 12 volt power now. So whenever we're riding, we can charge all our gear. So if you're interested in more KLR modifications, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future updates.